what you think the sort of the dawning reality of this agenda as it concerns women on who are seeking abortions and immediate reproductive health care, people who are trying to build families and need fertility support. What does this do to the Republican Party as we hurdle towards November? I mean, they they know exactly what they're doing. They knew exactly what they were doing by attacking Dobbs and attacking uh, rather attacking Roe v. Wade and attacking it in the way that they did. They're trying to walk it back now so that they don't look publicly accountable. But I want to be very clear that this was intentional and that this is exactly what Republicans have been going for. We've seen it. They've made you have the Heritage Foundation. You have lots of folks who are on record saying, you know, not only do they want to go after abortion? Not only do they want to go after reproductive freedom, they're going after IVF. They're going after contraception. We have a mifepristone uh, ruling that is that is coming down from the Supreme Court and Clarence Thomas enriching himself from the same folks who are saying that they are trying to control women's bodies quite explicitly and going beyond that. They also want to control recreation, what they call recreational sex. Yes. Recreational sex. This is this is so clearly a patriarchal theocracy that has embodied itself in the DNA of an entire political party in the United States of America. And as women and as any non-binary and queer person in this country, they must be defeated. They, they, there should never be room for this kind of control by force of a, over another person's body in this country. And they can walk it back as much as they want. They have done this. They, who put those judges there? Not Democrats, yeah, not yeah. independents. Republicans put those judges in there. Republicans are taking women's bodies by force and we cannot let them do it. It has to come to an end.